Okay, so I just acquired this cabin. This thing has been vacant near as I can tell since like 1930s and it could go back even as far as into the 1800s. My plan is to basically restore this and bring it back to a livable space. So let's get right into this video. So we'll do a quick walkthrough tour and then we'll get right to work on this thing. Porch definitely needs some help. This porch is all gonna come off. I just wanna jump in here real quick. Uh, this is probably the last video I'll post in the year 2023. So I wanted to say uh, thanks to everybody that watched these videos. I really didn't think that there was that much interest, but the channel grew to over 10,000 subscribers as of today. And uh, that's pretty cool to see. So thanks to everybody who watched the videos and, and all the support over the last couple of years. I've had a lot of people ask in other videos and in the comment section, a lot of questions about projects and the mini excavator. So at the end of this video, I will go over some project updates and try to an answer as many of those questions as I can. Uh, I'll put chapters down below so you guys can jump around if you want to and uh, hopefully I can answer any questions you guys have had. Right Max, what do you think? Is this a good stick? Is this a good stick? How do you know it's a good stick? You missed it. Says a lot happened here. HMA. 7.23, maybe July 23, that was recently. Foundation's like gone. back Do a quick downstairs tour. So this is right when you walk in. This would have been the kitchen originally. This would be like the living room. Old piano. It's a Henry F. Miller. place and I found this look at this this is burned so like theoretically the last time that somebody was in here that was the log that was burned like that log is from the last time somebody had a fire in here which could have been almost a hundred years ago I don't know I just think that's pretty cool this 
room will probably be a bathroom. I don't know. I don't know what it was originally. How bad the floor is though, like. I don't know if it shows up on camera. And this is the entryway. down to the basement. That's the kitchen for reference. And this is another room. Let's do a quick tour of the upstairs and then we'll get right to work. Coming up the stairs. Oh, nice window seat. You know, it's rough, but it just needs to be gutted, really. This is what would be considered the master bedroom. It is full. We got a nice thing on it. Like, you clean that up and sand it, these will be, these will be nice. like a storage area so that's the upstairs it's a pretty small house all right now that's done let's get back to work so the first thing i'm going to do here is bring my excavator down and clean up all the trees that have fallen around get some of this cleaned up so we can easily access the house
anytime you're working around stuff like this that could have asbestos in it, it's a good idea to wear a mask. And it really needs to be a mask that's approved for particulate, so the P100 is a good place to start. Check this out, there's writing here. I think it says Shorty, maybe Harley. I like finding stuff like that. Let's try to get some light in here and some ventilation. cool is that? Got nice natural light in here now. Windows lock. And we get some ventilation while there's dust in here. That's awesome. pretty good right now and I just drove in my driveway and there's this puddle here if this was ignored this would make a much much worse pothole so the thing to do right now is to get this draining off and get the water out of there you can 
see how much that puddle already drained out. That water's coming from right here, all the way up here on this. Running all the way down. See, I put this water bar here so that the water would run over here. It's important to notice stuff like that and fix it as soon as it starts to create a problem. Otherwise, it gets worse.
once again this thing's stuck I'm like perfectly flat ground I gotta fix the four wheel drive in this thing alright let's pull this thing out it's a good thing that thing's got pull start on it because batteries in the cold just they never work Once again, that thing comes through. That thing is so impressive. And this piece of crap, the four wheel drive never works on this thing. And this right here is the problem. Never buy a truck that has this. A couple of trees up here we need to take down so it's easier to get up to the house to load out the debris this one probably that one there
I'll dig a hole, burn it, and then bury it. So I'm going to cut these old joists out so we can kind of rebuild this floor now. It's all just dry rotted. So we need a piece that is 163 and a half to go across the face of that. Hanging on a target out back. Just using this board as a fulcrum and a lever. So now when he pulls that down, it pushes up on this. I say seven and a quarter. Okay, that worked really well. That was That's what I like to call a success. So it's up into place, floor's back where it's supposed to be. Just added that post for, I guess, a little bit better feeling. So there's two floor joists in now. Those are looking a lot better. That'll make that floor upstairs a lot more solid and it's not sagging anymore. So this is the room that had that big hole in the floor. And man, that feels not sinking into oblivion anymore. That feels either. pretty solid. That's what we gotta do. We just gotta shim it That needs a little bit of attention, but that's just an easy shim. So that's good. This is nice.
just make that a little bit easier to get down here honestly without having all that rubble in here Okay, for now, the upstairs is completely demoed. My plan is to slowly take out this plaster and put it in my regular dumpster. Uh, they can, I can fill it up as full as I want and they charge the same no matter what I put in it. And that'll be the best way to get rid of this. And then for now, I'm gonna go out and work on the outside.
this paint off. It was a long time ago. That worked good. Funny how you get all that rusty paint off there. It goes right in. I just wanted to show this here. These are the filters out of the mask I was wearing from maybe two days of work. I mean, that's what would have been in your lungs if you don't wear masks when you're doing stuff like this. I know sometimes it's a pain in the butt, but you, you really don't want to be breathing that in. What do you think, buddy? What do you think? What do you think? Project update. So I've had a lot of people ask about the 
uh, part two on the Cummins swap for this truck. Uh, that's in the works. I'm not going to go into too much detail on that because I'll have a full video out at some point. There's a lot of little nuanced stuff that just takes a lot of time. So yeah, th th I'm working on it. It's just, it's not to a point where I'm ready to release the video yet. So the shipping container has been working great. I've been really happy with how this space kind of works out for me. I made a video on the putting the piers in. Um, that was pretty cool and, and they've held up well. Skid steer is still running great. I, I don't have any issues with this thing ever. It really, except the tire, except the tire went flat. That's pretty annoying. Really all the tires should on these should come foam filled from the factory. It would give it more weight and you would never have a flat tire. So I gotta fix that. Here is the big block engine that I pulled out of the dump truck. This is pretty much going to the scrap yard. I have, I have had the thing listed for months and tried to get people to buy. I had the thing listed for 250 bucks, which you know, I thought being as it was a 534 that seemed to me to be kind of rare, I, I figured 250 bucks is probably a fair price. And honestly, I would have taken like 200 bucks. Like I just wanted to get rid of it and not take it to the scrap yard, but it doesn't seem like anybody is really interested in it for parts so it might just go to the scrapyard i don't know haven't done anything with it yet here it is i guess i shouldn't say i haven't done anything with it i did take a bunch of parts off of it like the fan uh, the i took the air compressor the power steering pump stuff like that i put them in my shop because i could probably use them in the future and i'm a hoarder so is going on oh this thing this thing's working pretty good i did a video on this it, nope it really didn't do very well i guess not a lot of people watched it i thought it was a pretty good video but but this machine's been great i it works good the the battery's always dead but batteries are garbage and other than that it's it's fine it, i like that thing a lot this thing uh, i did a video on this as well you can go back and check that one out I don't really know what I'm going to do with this. I did a Will It Run video on this. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'll kind of leave that under the tarp. There, I have a video started on that, but I ran into some issues. So here's that dump box. I actually sold this to a guy. He just hasn't come pick it up yet. All right, here's the other thing. Look, I had... So many people that were about ready to pretty much call the police on me for like dropping the for like flopping this cab off and breaking it look the reality of situations doesn't come through on camera well enough the amount of time and money it would have taken to restore this thing literally the name of my channel is 99 projects that's a gross understatement i have far more projects than that going on at one time and i can't really I, I can't save them all, unfortunately. I, I would love to, but I, I just not feasible. Time and money, I, I just don't have it. So um, this cab is here. I haven't done anything with it. I, I have a few ideas that I think would be kind of cool. It did flop off. You can go back and watch the video and it kind of messed this up a little bit. This would probably be pretty easy to, to smash back out from the inside. None of the glass broke. And the inside is all, you know, like, this is what we're arguing about saving. It's it's pretty bad. I took all of the gauges out because I wanted to save them and use them for something else. I thought they were cool. I'm gonna use them in the future. The other thing is like, I took the engine out of this truck and that's the donor engine that's in the dump truck. So this truck is gonna live on even though it's not in its original format. You know, the 855 that I pulled out of that cab over is in the, I mean, it's in there. Like part of that truck's gonna carry on and, and be used. Right, Max? It's tough to kind of show everything on camera. I know. Like I said, I'd like to save them all, but you can't, so. Uh, there's that gantry crane I built. All right, so I just picked this truck up. I'm working on a video on that. This is the chassis from that cab over. Um, 
I tried to explain it in that last video, like it's it, it's rusting. It was kind of cobbled together as a double frame. You probably can't see it, but there's a quite a bit of rust jacking. The leaf springs on one side are pretty much junk. The, the wheel, the drums are locked to the shoes on the brakes. The wheels are like rotting out like, I mean, you can't go down the road like this. Here you can see there, it's all, this is all rusted out. The tires are dry rotted. They're all cracked on the front. Let's see if I can find the crack. And like all these are dry rot cracks. All those, all these. All the lines going this way, those are all dry rot cracks. So like, honestly, this front axle is, is pretty good. That's that's probably salvageable. Um, and I'm keeping this thing around because there's parts that I can rob off it for this, uh, for this truck here. So, you know, as, as a lot of people said that I like destroyed that truck and I don't know what I'm doing and I, I should never touch another truck again. It's like, Okay, but I that truck's like kind of saved and I still have parts and pieces and I mean that truck will live on for a long time really. I don't really care. I'm just trying to give some context to some people who don't really seem to understand that. What else we got going on? Lots of stuff, buddy, huh? I don't know what else to talk about. I, I had that uh I had that blue and gray Ford dump truck that I did a video on with in the same video as that I sold that to a guy I think I mentioned that in that video I'm working on building a new road over there into my shop but then there was an incident with my dozer and so I got to get a new one of those we'll run back up to my mini excavator and I'll go over a couple of things on that All right, so I get comments all the time on this machine asking about the make and model. There is not really a make and model. This is technically a Digit EM15, I think, but if you Google search that, it's really only gonna bring you and show you some of these machines. This is how this works. There's a factory in China that makes an excavator that looks a lot like this, and they paint it yellow or orange or blue. They stack, they slap a different sticker on it depending on who they wanted to depending on what they wanted to look like and they send it over to the united states people buy these and import them by the container load and then they sell them at local auctions and facebook marketplace and all that stuff i actually bought this on facebook marketplace from a guy who had done the importing himself another question i get asked all the time is why i insisted that it's important to buy a machine with the pilot controls up here there are machines that are cheaper that have the controls here and yes they're cheaper they're also lighter and i don't think that the operation of those machines is as smooth and nice as this machine is i guess you can argue that it's the same machine it's a little bit lighter and it's cheaper so i guess if it works for you then great but i would only recommend getting a machine with the pilot controls on the armrest i think it's a smoother operation i think it's more comfortable for I think it's more comfortable for the operator as well. I say this all the time with this machine. This thing is so incredibly useful. I 100% I recommend this for homeowners that have any kind of property. Um, and, and honestly, even, even if you have a small business and you're trenching and stuff like electricians and plumbers, this thing is great. So I got 44 hours on it right now. I've gotten a ton of use out of this thing. I've changed the oil once. I've lost the track a couple of times. I've broken the thumb, I think three times, mostly my own design flaws. We, Me and my buddy built that back up 
on that last on that barn cleaning up job that I did and it's it's held together pretty good but I abuse this thing I mean that's kind of an understatement like I'm pretty hard on this machine and I want to be because I want to find out if if I can if I can use it and it holds up then anybody can all right the other thing I did to this is I added a, a lever here for the blade control it was a, a foot pedal rocker that was really a, a bad design because you couldn't get your foot far enough over to push it down and so it wouldn't go one way and then it was really backwards from what i felt it should have been like one way the way that should have been down was up it was just kind of annoying and i ended up leaning over all the time to run it so me and my buddy actually built this lever and i mean it's crude but it definitely works and it makes operating that blade so much nicer so i i definitely would recommend to take the time take those panels off and and make that blade control like that it, it just makes it a lot nicer any final thoughts from you on the mini excavator how do you feel about it have you run it yet i don't think you have you're just here to Make sure everything goes according to plan, which I think you're bad at that job, buddy. Yeah, I love you, but nothing ever goes according to plan. All right, I think that kind of wraps up projects that I have going on and hopefully answered anybody's questions. Again, I appreciate you guys watching this. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna kind of end this video here. It's a good start on this and there will be more videos on this to come. This will be like the first video in a series of videos.